Hi, I'm Brenda Barber. I'm the program manager for the deactivated nuclear power plant program with the Baltimore District Corps of Engineers. Today we'd like to take you on a tour of the SM1 deactivated nuclear power plant located at Fort Belvoir, Virginia. This facility was constructed in 1955 and operational by 1957 until it was deactivated and decommissioned in 1973. This facility was a joint effort um, of the DOD to train employees from the Army, the Air Force, and the Navy in the operation of a nuclear power plant. So come along with me as we tour the facility. Hi, so welcome to the control panel for the SM1. Um, this large panel was a training panel as well as an operational control panel for the reactor system. So what I'd like to highlight for you today is the graphical panel you see here behind me. Uh, this was a tool that the operators and instructors used to learn how to operate the reactor components and systems. So everything contained within the red cylinder here uh, is what we call the vapor containment structure. So the reactor pressure vessel, the pressurizer, and the steam generator, the primary reactor components are located inside this container and the operators could use this visual to monitor their performance. Outside of that, the items with the yellow lines lead the steam and the, the heat to the condenser and the turbine to produce electricity associated with the operation of the reactors. Now because this was a teaching facility and that was the primary mission of this facility, the instructors could work behind the control panel and hit toggle switches that would facilitate emergency situations or situations that the operators had to respond to. So that was critical to the learning that went on here at this facility. In addition to that, you can see the main control panel where the operators actually sat here in front of me. Now this had all the gauges and switches that the operators would be uh, controlling the reactor systems with. What I'd like to point out to you is the emergency stop button, what we refer to as the scram button. Um, that would be utilized if there was some type of emergency here at the facility to stop the operation of the reactors. That would then allow the reactor operators to take any necessary steps to secure the site. As we continue with our tour, we are now located at the entrance to the vapor containment structure. As I indicated when we were in the control panel room, the vapor containment structure contains the primary reactor components, the reactor pressure vessel, the steam generator, and the pressurizer. All of these items are radioactive due to operation of the facility. However, there is no control rods, no fuel, and no liquid radioactive waste remaining at the site. So this is one of two entrances into the vapor containment structure that will allow our teams to perform entries and gain access to the reactor components as we progress with decommissioning of this site. Hi, the next step on our tour is the turbine. This is what we affectionately refer to as the turbine deck. Uh, so the turbine would receive the heated steam from the reactor pressure vessel and the components in the vapor containment structure and it would utilize that heated steam to produce electricity and put it out onto the grid. So the next stop on our tour is the condenser which you can see here behind me. After the pressurized and heated steam moves through the turbine to create the electricity it comes back down to the condenser so it can be cooled and then placed back into the reactor operation systems to continue that loop of creating heated steam to create the electricity. So it's a continuous loop. So I want to thank you for coming along on the tour of SM1 today. We appreciate the opportunity to show you our facility. I want to emphasize that safety is the number one priority for my project team as we implement the upcoming work. If you have any questions or concerns, you can go to our project website and feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.